Well, so if you can't find the hard drive, sometimes if you've got a USB connected in or an external hard drive, it'll be trying to boot from that. And obviously, if you take an operating system on it, it ain't going to boot. So that does happen a lot more often than what you think. So <laughs> just make sure you've got nothing plugged in. And that way, you know it's at least going to be trying to boot off your hard drive that's internal. As long as your internal hard drive isn't faulty, that is. So the next thing you're going to check is the BIOS. So you got to work out how to get into your BIOS. On this one you just press Think Vantage button on that screen. And then it's F1 to enter the BIOS setup. So unless you're going to check first, what's the date and time? Make sure that's correct. It is. Sometimes if the date's not correct, it won't work properly. Just want to go through and check all the settings. USBs are on. Serial ATA. AHCI, you might want to swap over on them as well just to check. You've got compatibility in AHCI, it's always worth a test. Obviously, switch from one to the other and try and reboot. Then you've got security. Just going to go through and check them all. That's the UEFI, that's a booting program, so. That's nothing to do with it though, it's just for reflashing it. Import and output, input and output ports. So Ultra Bay enabled, eSorter port enabled. So go through them and make sure they are enabled. So it is. Then you've got Startup. Basically, you can choose your startup configuration. So just go through them all and check them all. Network boot. I'm not on a network, so it's going to try that one first. Then you've got UEFI and Legacy boot. You can change between them two. So try them, but I've got it set to both, so it will choose itself. It's going to try Legacy first. You could switch that around and try that. You could try it off quick and on diagnostics mode. And then you've got your boot order, lock, disable, which is a good thing. If it's locked, disable it. So that's it really. Usually it's either set to UF UEFI or Legacy and your hard drive set up for a different one so usually you just end up swapping them around and it works. But obviously if that don't work go through them all. And when you're finished F10 to save your settings and escape. And that is it. Other than that it's a faulty hard drive and you want to be using diagnostic software to see if there's any problems with it.